Knights team can be really strong. Once they have the ball on their side and they have a rally going, they can be very, very strong, and they can be an extremely strong team. Tonight, they're really going to have to cover their bases, cover their front line, make sure they're watching each other's backs because they're going to have to be on defense tonight. Cal State Fullerton will be working from right to left. They're in the all-white jerseys, numeral in orange. Ashley Jacone in the navy jersey, numeral in orange. We're underway live on ESPN+. Plus. Already mishandled in the back row from Ikinaga as Alexander hits it over. Gives Garris an opportunity to feed a trailer in the back row. Dugout wants more from Ikinaga. They switch from left to right this time. Off the hit of Hakas as Trailer gets another go as Cal State Fullerton will pick up the first kill of this matchup. Garris getting set to go for Cal State Fullerton. Dents the twine a little bit, still in play for the Rainbow Wahine. Mishandled opportunity, Bay miss. Did a good job, but got a little too excited. Uh, she jumped a little bit too early and it results in an out of bounds play. Two nothing, Titans lead here in set number one. Garris, the Austin, Texas product. Another service, far side attack, denied! Laura Williams a, turns it away. This is a great opportunity for the Titans right now. They're on a roll. Like I said, once they get this motivation going, they can be a very, very strong team. So this is great to see right out the gate. Laura Williams, the 5'9 junior out of Lakewood, California, gets it done. Of course, Hawaii working their way from left to right. Locked away from Williams, out of play in front of Nicole Vargas Bolster as Hawaii grabs their first point of the evening. And now it comes to a 1-3 service here in set number one. Now this is where Cal State Fullerton's weakness lies. Let's see what they can do here and let's see how their communication is. Akas, the Israel product. 2023 Big West freshman team. Ready has 24 service aces of the season. Hakas on the back row attack. Lane feeds right up the middle. Handled cleanly by Jacone. Big swing from Trailer. Mishandled by Ikanaga. Trying to save it in play. Goes all the way near the stampede section is Hakas. He liked the defensive effort. Even better of an effort on the offensive side from Cal State Fullerton. Ashley Chacon did a great job. It's all on her right now with the serve receive. It all starts with her when she gets that ball up to the setter to get a great hit. Comes Lila Trailer, already 22 service aces of the season. Handled with care from Hakas, goes right into the net by Jason Bamis. It's Cal State Fullerton in a roll early here in set number one. There's Cal State Fullerton at 2 and 12 playing at home this season. Their last Big West Titan home win goes all the way back to October 7th of 2023. And already the Wahine trying to shut down the door right there from Estella Adami. Now this is just a beautiful kill from Hawaii. It's kind of what they're known for, those back corners. It's really where the Titans have to watch. Adami averages about 2.6 kills per game, 211 of the season. Garris goes up the middle to Hall, covered nicely in the back row. Ine this time by Alexander, dug out by Garris. Williams will hit it over and it allows a free ball opportunity for Hawaii. They go through the middle, was it tipped? It was not, says Cal State Fullerton. And one of the line judge, 6-2 service coming up for the Titans of Cal State Fullerton. Bianca Martinez, she checks in for Ashley Jacone. Bamis will check out likewise for Jackie Matias on the Hawaii end. As Katisha Hall, six foot sophomore out of Long Beach, California, feeds on the back row. Lang once more goes to Adami, recovered nicely by Garris. Hall, right corner they go to Williams, still in play for the Wahine. A free ball dumped over by Hawaii. Allows Cal State Fullerton to poke it away from Campbell, but turned away this time from Kaelin Alexander. The Georgia product, the junior outside hitter, gets it done for Hawaii. All eyes are on Ashley Chacon on the serve receive on the side of Cal State Fullerton. Let's see what they can do here. 
three up, three back for Cal State Fullerton. Campbell with the up, and it was rather gives an opportunity for Martinez. Adami once more throwing down the hammer. Four six service coming up for Hawaii. Kaelin Alexander, 2022 Big West Freshman of the Year. Also set a new University of Hawaii record in Big West season high, six Freshman of the Week awards. And even have a lot to talk about Kate Lane, who we mentioned off air as Cal State Fullerton will get another point back. It allows Laura Williams to check out and it's gonna allow the, of course, the DS and also to the service specialist, Leilani Lopez on the service line for the Titans 7-4 service. As for Lopez, the Torrance, California native, five foot eight sophomore on the line. Swinging there on the right side by Hawaii once more. Ikenago goes up the middle by Lang, still in played once more. Adami trying to finish it. They miss Long, no tip, but the line judge on the other end said it was tipped. But the head judge overrules, therefore it goes to Cal State Fullerton's favor. First, Leilani Lopez already has 11 service aces so far this season. He goes on the back row, handled by Hakas. Adami goes left corner, saved by Trailer. Once again, Garris goes up the middle. Dug out once more on the back row from Hawaii. Campbell saves it right through the antenna. Chacon hits it over, free ball for the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine. Adami again gets it done. Adami already with her third kill in set number one. If you notice on the side of Cal State Fullerton, they're doing a lot better job at getting their back row back into position. They're doing a great job at covering around the court and it seems like they have definitely been practicing. Gives an opportunity for Victoria Leva. Back on the service line, a five foot eight freshman named All El Paso All City Defensive Player of the Year back in 2022 through the 23 season. Back at Pebble Hills High School. Jacon hits it over. Garris tries to dump it away, but saves it through the net. Well done from Trailer on the defensive end as well. Hawkus hits it over. Campbell does a good job giving it up to middle to Bianca Martinez. And it resets to Lang once more. Goes through the middle. The six foot one freshman, Miliana Sylvester, gets it done for Hawaii. Sylvester, of course, a 2024 graduate of University Laboratory School in Honolulu, Hawaii. So lettered in volleyball for three years and basketball for one at a rather central high school in Missouri. Campbell showing what she could do. You know, she had her Wheaties this morning and it comes back to a Cal State Fullerton point. They get a quick side out, 9-6 service coming up for the Titans. I love the way the Titans are playing. They are getting aggressive. They're not doubting themselves and they're just going for it and it is really working in their favor. Here comes Riley St. Dara, the Eastville, California. Former Roosevelt Mustang. Mishandled by Leilani Lopez in the back row. Hawaii grabs another point back and it gives an opportunity for Taylor Ikanaga to be on the service line. Ikanaga second in the Big West in digs. Total of 422, that's about 3.98% for Ikinaga. Martinez gets the point right back. Been a little bit of a back and forth effort rather, but you like to see what Cal State Fullerton getting the quick side outs. Yeah, they're doing a really good job at getting the service receive back on their side, which is something that they have been struggling with over the course of this past season. Right now, talk about the service line a little bit from both sides. Service aces, Cal State Fullerton ranked 11, Hawaii ranked 10. So not the strongest of service lines, rather appearances from either side this season. Hasn't really hurt Hawaii too much again. They're gonna watch UC Davis and Cal Poly play tomorrow with Hawaii if they can get a win against Cal State Fullerton tonight. Be a three-way tie for the number one seed in the Big West Tournament. That's turned away this time. None other than Tally Hakas. Opportunity there and a huge block for Hawaii. 
Allie Hawk is already with 51 blocks of the season. Brings her total up to 52 on a 9 10 service for Kate Lane, the Keller Texas product. Goes short and a rainbow of a serve and allows Katisha Hall. Unbelievable power there on the right side of the floor. They get the point right back. The Titans are really capitalizing on these mistakes that Hawaii is making on their side because they know they have a better shot with serving than they do on serve receive. Here comes Riley Garris, already has 21 service aces of the season. Once more, they feed Alexander, dug out by St. Dar in the back row. Left corner, they go to Trailer. And a one arm save this time from Leva. Sets up Alexander again. Goes right through the arms of Riley Garris. And another Hawaii kill here in set one. Leva, she will check out. Gives an opportunity for Stella Adami to check back in. Akas, 24 service aces. For Talon, hitting percentage of 187 so far through 106 sets played this season. They go to the left corner, saved by Trailer, banks it over, dug out by Hakas. They go right up the middle. Jason Bamis puts it through. Averaged about 2.16 kills per game. Spokane Washington product gets it done. Her approach is just consistently great. I was watching her before the game too. She is extremely consistent with those kills. She's definitely one to look out for. Hawaii number side has definitely been on their side. 50-0 against Cal State Fullerton. Cal State Fullerton trying to stun the Rainbow Wahine tonight, but not if Hawaii has anything to say about it. They're on top for the first time tonight here in set one. And the Rainbow Wahine swept through their final home stand with victories over Long Beach State and UC San Diego in six sets. They posted back-to-back -back sweeps for the first time this season and have won seven of their last eight matches. One loss coming against the UC Riverside Highlanders. Lang goes up the middle. Too easy. Jason Bamis, over 200 kills of the season, gets it done once more for the Wahine. stoppage. Cal State Fullerton student athlete Sofia Guvada gets it through in the back row. Two up, four back for Cal State Fullerton. Another opportunity for Tally Hakas, the 5'11 sophomore. Line drive service, front set by Garris. They go down low to trailer once more as a teammate puts it in play and allows Hakas to hit it over. A free ball. The Titans trying to capitalize. They do. Great way for trailer to read the court there. Absolutely tricking Hawaii on their side. Zagdara, she will check out. Campbell, Hall, Williams, Jacone, and Garris. Gives an opportunity to Trailer once more. Trailer leading the team with 22 service aces. As again, a Damey, too strong. Puts it back home for Hawaii. Again, consistency is key, and she is consistent. Here, Jackie Matias, a Lulu Hawaii product, five foot nine sophomore. Father John Matias Jr. was a first baseman and designated hitter on the University of Hawaii squad as Cal State Fullerton, courtesy of Katisha Hall, gets the point right back down by one here in set one. And Matias, of course, her being a second generation athlete, University of Hawaii, and then also Matias, her mother also went to the University of Hawaii, was a rainbow dancer. Back in Hawaii as well, as Lang wants to go far side once more. Who else? Peter Moore, Stella Damey has certainly Denting the hardwood here tonight in Titan Gymnasium. And that brings us to immediate timeout. 15 to 13 in step number one. We're gonna step aside, take a quick break. You're watching and listening of coverage of Big West Women's Volleyball on ESPN+. It's easy to play it safe, but that's not our story. Only the bold is our mission. 
a call for risk takers and change makers to shine in the classroom, in the community, and in competition. Bold is our past, our future, our passion. Bold is the next level. The Big West, only the bold. Someday, I'll be the first female president of the universe. Someday, I'm gonna marry my baseball glove. Probably in Vegas. There are a lot of miles between today and someday. Your long-lasting three-row Subaru Ascent will get your family there. 96% of Subaru vehicles sold in the past 10 years are still on the road. Someday I'll be able to read dogs' minds. <laughs> He's thinking squirrels. Welcome back. She is Amy Glum. My name is Robbie Loya. 15 to 13 in favor of the Wahine here in set number one. It's been a back and forth effort, and Amy for Cal State Fullerton doing pretty well, hanging with Hawaii, and not only on that, but they're doing a great job of getting the side out just as soon as possible. Yeah, Cal State Fullerton has definitely been on a roll. They are doing much better at covering their bases and getting back into position. They are doing a lot better at communicating with each other and not doubting themselves and getting their feet under themselves and under the ball and are able to pass it and get a good setup for a great kill. And what I've been noticing too is that they've been doing a great job at covering these cross court kills and trying to cover these very, very hard kills from Hawaii. Service once more, this time by Kaylin Alexander, tipped by Laura Williams, a pancake save by Ikanaga, and right corner, they got it. Stella Damey once more. Once again, those cross court kills from Hawaii are just absolutely killer. Another thing that Cal State Fullerton needs to definitely work on, but they definitely have been doing a much better job. Kaylin Alexander leading the Big West in kills, average about 5.29 per game, a little bit of an overpass as Garris trying to set up Martinez, reaches, or rather goes out of her reach, and it goes back to Hawaii picking up another point. Hopefully Cal State Fullerton is able, able to keep up a momentum and not lose it because I notice when they lose their momentum, that's when they get nervous, and that's when they start to make mistakes. 17 to 13 service here in set number one. Here comes Amina Campbell. Fortunately, this time, Ikanaga can't dig it out. Some hard effort there from Campbell and Cal State Fullerton. Let's see if Cal State Fullerton can keep the ball on their side and keep the points rolling. Of course, this is a tough Hawaii team. As a team, Hawaii leads the Big West and ranks 20th nationally with 13.92 kills per set. Leilani Lopez with a line drive shot, playing with a big swing on the right-hand corner this time from Sylvester as Hawaii gets it right through the donut. Once more, courtesy of who else than Kate Lang. Unfortunately, again, that mistake Cal State Fullerton just seems to keep making. They need to communicate better, cover their front line better. Kate Lane was Big West Player of the Week in the center position, her fifth weekly honor of the season, 16th in her career, and it shows right there on the floor here tonight. Campbell gets the point right back. Cal State Fullerton not giving up without a, st a fight, rather, and of course, trying to make a statement. The Big West Conference, again with a loss for Hawaii, take him out of contention of possibly grabbing the first seed. Sangdara. The freshman already playing like a true veteran. Continuing to show her stuff. But this time Hawaii once more in the back and forth effort. Now no Sylvester once more gets it done for the Wahine. Comes Taylor Ikanaga, the 5'5 senior. Goes long. Jacone will put it in play. Big swing by Trailer, one arm dig from the back row from Alexander. Why unable to do much with that one with a big swing by Trailer. Gives Cal State Fullerton the point right back. Ashley Jacone, the five foot five Tracy California native gets ready to go. Of course, tonight being senior night, Cal State Fullerton celebrating their two seniors. Ashley Jacone and Lila Trailer. Hawkus gets turned away from Katisha Hall. Six foot sophomore picks up her 43rd block of the season. 
You know, the front line on the side of Cal State Fullerton has really been on point tonight. They have been blocking a lot of the kills from Hawaii, and I think that is also why Cal State Fullerton is able to do so well tonight. Too easy of an opportunity for Lang. You already saw she was surveying the floor before she even got set up with the volleyball. She saw the big enough gap right through the middle of the donut. Already two for two on dump attempts for the setter. The line drive serve rather on the right hand side as Hall misses long. Already back to back unanswered points for the Wahine. Few points away from capturing set number one early. 21 to 17 service for Ling. Also Big West setter of the year back in 2022. Mrs. Long, first service air tonight as Cal State Fullerton will pick up the free point. Lopez will check out. Cal State Fullerton will have Laura Williams back on the floor. Riley Garris back on the service stripe. It's Garris, too much juice, misses Long. Service error this time for Cal State Fullerton, and this time Hawaii will pick up the free point. Leva will check out. Gives an opportunity now for Tally Hakas to serve. And making 2023 Big West freshman team. Proving herself so far in her sophomore campaign. Turned away this time by the mid blockers. It resets Cal State Fullerton's offense. Hawkus in the back row feeds Lang. This time right corner to Alexander. Barry's at home. Riley Garris just unfortunately not able to get underneath the ball quick enough in order to pop it back up and back into play. Seemed like for a brief moment, Tally Hawkus had something in her eye. Gets the service signal right there from her coach and it resets. Line drive goes over the tape. Garris saves it, goes back to trailer far out middle. One arm save from Ikanaga. They go to Alexander, took out by Jacon. Garris goes near side to Williams, turned away. Dumped by Garris, an easy save by Ikanaga. Again, Alexander goes short. Front row, near side, or far side rather, gets it done for the Wahine, and just like that, set point for the Bows. 24-18 service, it is a set point for the Bows early. Again, already swept Cal State Fullerton, Fullerton rather, earlier on in the season. Dara goes to Williams, tip from the mid blocks, allows Lang to go center. Turned away from Trailer and Hall, Hawaii, they decide to reset. Adame wants to go to the far side, cut there by Singdara. Trailer wants to do the same, gets the tip. Cal State Fullerton will get the point. Singdara will check out, Amina Campbell will check right back in. As Cal State Fullerton's captain trying to save it, this one here. Well, he's trying to extend the set, rather. Still a set point for the Bows. Lang wants to go through the middle. Jason Bamis puts the nail in the coffin. As set number one comes to a close at 25-19 final. Set one's been a fun one. We still got more volleyball coming your way through Robin Amo. And of course, she has a record of 150 wins, 53 losses. As for Nicole Vargas Polster, fourth season as head coach, sixth with the program. Of course, she is known as one of the best setters in Long Beach State history. And of course, everyone knows her mother. We've been saying it continuously through the entirety of the season. Her being a former Olympian as well, winning herself the silver medal back in the 1984 Olympics. So again, both of these coaches, of course, one of the best in the Big West Conference. There is no doubt about it. As Cole Vargas Polster proving her worth and has done so throughout her entirety of her career as an assistant coach and as a head coach as well. As Campbell wants to go to Williams. Back to trailer here in set number two. One nothing Hawaii leads. Jacon handles that volleyball. Here comes the swing over by Campbell. Dug out once more by Lang. Why can't keep it in play? Point goes to Cal State Fullerton. One nothing here in set two. It seems as though both teams on 
either side have been giving up a lot of points. I've seen a lot of mistakes on both sides, just letting the ball fall in front of them, serve mistakes, kill mistakes. And I think both teams just need to clean up. Speaking more of the bows, rather also led the conference in assists per set and digs per set and ranked second with a hitting percentage of 245. As the bows, they will get the point right back and it allows Tally Hakas to serve once more. As a Damie will check in, she'll be replacing none other than Victoria Leva. It's been a mix of veterans and also some lower classmen from this Hawaii squad against a very youthful Cal State Fullerton team. Hakas once again goes back row. Near side to Williams. Lang feeds up the middle by Amos. Turned away. Hawaii gets another go. Jacone keeps it in play. Jacone, great move there. You're we talking about communication. It works in the Titans' favor, but not if. Damey has something to say about it. Great kill there. Great play by Hawaii. They did a great fake out, and that the Titans just could not see it in time. And Lang continually to move up. She's now third in University of Hawaii in career assists over the weekend. Leads the conference and ranks 12th in the nation. But at the time, but now well over 1,116 total assists. Leads the Big West and again ranks 26th nationally as Cal State Fullerton trying to work their way back rather 2-2 all and allows Leilani Lopez back on the service strike. Lopez getting the signal from associate head coach Sabrina Hernandez. Instead of going near side, they're going to have Lopez shut up far side. Lopez with the crank sends it over. Lang once more goes over. Leilani Lopez recovers. A free ball for Hawaii. They try to capitalize. They do. Stella Adami once more. Appeared in eight matches, 12 sets, 15 kills a season ago. And Adami proving her worth in the Hawaii roster. Leilani Lopez, of course, getting the start last time out against UC Irvine. Of course, the Eaters sweeping Cal State Fullerton. As for Jackie Matias, dents the twine. Cal State Fullerton gets another free point. Three all here in set number two. Sets up Riley Singh Dara to do more damage. This is a great opportunity for Cal State Fullerton. Let's see if they can get momentum on their side and get some points on the board. 2023 Girls Volleyball All CIF Southern Section. D4 gets it done. That is Sangdara. Another free ball for the Bows. A little bit of an overpass, but Lang still recovers. Up the middle they go to Miliana Sylvester. Again, that consistency from Hawaii with those kills. They're just dangerous. Again, the 2022 Big West Freshman of the Year. Back on the service line, 27 service aces. Averaging 5.29 kills per set. Hawaii gets the point. Cal State Fullerton looking for a tip. They don't get it. 5-3 service coming up for Hawaii. Save for the technical mistakes that both teams are making, Cal State Fullerton is playing a great game against this number three team. Saving the scores table by Trailer. Good defense effort. Goes for knots. Stella Damey once again on the near side. Goes on the back row attack, picks up another kill. Take a look at the replay here on ESPN Plus. Damey looks at that corner on the far side, beats out Ashley Jacone. Alexander goes into the net. Third service error for Hawaii tonight. So far, though, hitting clip is one to look out for for Hawaii. They've been sensational. The 353 hitting clip over Cal State Fullerton's 205 hitting clip. As Jacon with the standalone service, trying to go with the rainbow shot, goes right into the net. Back to back service aces, and that allows Leva back to be on the service line for Hawaii. Leva 
and to Pebble Hills High School. It's also named the Pebble Hill High School Player of the Year in Varsity MVP as a sophomore back in 2021 and 2022. Ziganaga trying to save it over and it goes well over the scores table. A souvenir for a lucky fan. Exciting sight out there for Cal State Fullerton. 5-7 service for Riley Garris. Garris finished the night against UC Irvine with 22 assists. Of course, the Titans posted 27 in that matchup compared to UC Irvine's 43. Serve goes long once more for Cal State Fullerton. So far, both teams struggling, just trying to get the ball over the net and in play. 8-5 service. Naga, of course, second in the Big West in digs with the service. Hall trying to shut down the door, misses wide, looking for the corner. Doesn't take, Hawaii gets it back. This set has just been a set full of points given away, Robbie. Definitely something that both of two squads trying to clean up a little bit. Cal State Fullerton looking for a side out. Back row attack by Trailer. They feed Hall up the middle what they need right there, partner. Cal State Fullerton up the middle to Hall once more. Down by three here in set number two. Of course, Trailer once again, second year serving as the team captain. Of our two seniors along with Ashley Chacon. They go up far side. Getting it done this time, Justin Bamis once more. First Bamis, former Clemson Tiger. A couple of years back, was a member of University of Hawaii a season ago, only playing in nine matches and 12 sets. Making her mark rather on this roster. Sets up another opportunity for Lang. Line drive handled by Chacon. Over pass Hall trying to keep it in play. But they're going to call a legal hit there for Cal State Fullerton. Point goes to Hawaii. Lang again, a setter that already has five weekly honors, 16 of her career. It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if she becomes once again a two time Big West Setter of the Year recipient. Alexander with a soft touch. Williams to Garris, has a big crank from Campbell. Hall trying to contest right up the middle by Bamis. Hall still in the air, Lang wants to go left side to Hawkes. Denied, Laura Williams. Trying to create a block party here in Fullerton, California. Hawaii was just not ready for that one, unfortunately. Take a Kate look Long here. unable to get the ball up. Tisha Hall back on the service line. 7-11 service. Again in the net. These are mistakes that unfortunately both teams cannot afford to be making at this point. Four service east, or rather four service errors for Cal State Fullerton, three for the Wahine. Has it been the prettiest of sets rather from the service line? It's Tally Hakas. Once more getting set to go from trailer it goes up the middle to Bianca Martinez. Had some umph on that one. Showing velocity of her own in the left corner, Adami. Defensive effort saved by Fullerton. Hawaii trying to shut down the door. They miss wide. Titans earn themselves a well fought earned point. Lonnie Lopez, no doubt about it, a student athlete. Whether on the floor, off the floor, rather. True X factor on the service line, looking to get it done. Hakas on the defensive end, good passing there. Lopez saves it on one knee. Here comes Campbell with a big crank of her own. Gives an opportunity once more from Adami. Gets it done. Beats the outreach effort of Leilani Lopez, denning the hardwood. It's a great read by Hawaii there. They saw Cal State Fullerton completely open in the front and took advantage. Went with a tip rather than a kill and it worked out to their favor. 
Diaz playing well over 70 sets this season for the Bows. Campbell, hard spike, left corner, but Diaz with the save, Adami gets denied, recovers it in time, wants to go again, right corner, they miss a little bit long. Cal St. Fullerton trying to creep right back here in set two. A Campbell check out, gives an opportunity once more for Riley Sangdara. And 2023 first team all league back in the big eight. Lang goes on the backside bump. Free ball, Adami gets excited. Turned away by the net, hits it over for the free ball for the Titans. Singdara goes to Garris with a dump, one arm dig by Iganaga. Here comes the Titans on a free ball chance. Back row from Hawkus. Lang wants to go up the middle again. Left corner shots. This time once more from Sylvester. Gets it done once more for the Bows. Definitely, definitely was a close one there right on the line. Titans definitely thought that one was out. Certainly been the Stella Adami show already. Ten kills already tonight. Kaylin Alexander with six. Jason Bamis with five. Katisha Hall leading Cal State Fullerton with six kills. Turned away from Martinez. So go out of plan. It gives that opportunity right back to Cal State Fullerton, this time to Ashley Jacone. For Jacone so far, seven service aces through 93 sets so far. Now at 95 for Jacone. Too excited there, a little too early in the middle. Blocks from Trailer and Hall, and it resorts in a Hawaii Rainbow Point. It'll take us to another break. Hawaii leading this one in set two by a score of 15 to 10 to 10 in favor of the University of Hawaii here in set number two. They're already up one set to nothing. Final score in set number one was 25 to 19. Both of their two squads trying to give their all again a matchup where Hawaii needs a victory tonight. Trying to get that three-way tie for the number one seed. Can top six teams make the Big West Conference Championships? You see Irvine in the seventh spot. They're trying to fight their way to have home court advantage for the tournament. You just saw on your screen Leilani Lopez. Two up, four back. Getting ready for the surpassing game, rather. For Hawaii, 15-7, or rather 15-10 service for Victoria Leva. As Trailer trying to do some damage. What a dig in the back row by Ikanaga. Hakas goes back row, misses long. It's Marmu from Leilani Lopez. And after the timeout, Titans get a point right back. Comes Riley Garris. And a sophomore was no doubt about it, has always been one of the best setters in the Big West Conference. Even last year as a freshman proved her worth as Garris feeds down low to Hall. Hakez with a big crank. Jacone with the save. Here comes Laura Williams. Can't do anything about it yet. Dug out by Leva through the middle. Once more they go to Sylvester. Mishandled by Cal State Fullerton. Hawaii gets the point. Riley Singdara just not able to get there fast enough and get right underneath the ball. Ikinaga back on the floor once more. Average about 3.98 digs per set. Has nine total aces so far this season. Trailer, an overpass recovered by Williams near the scores table. As Ikanaga with a free ball goes the lane. It's a running spike there from Jason Bamis. Picks up her sixth kill of the evening. Jason Bamis is just able to get those kills wherever she is on the court. She somehow is able to do her approach to the ball from wherever angle she is. You see Lang, Bamis, along with Hawkus. Triple threat, no doubt about it. Hall goes down low, tips her away, and it blocks out right through that corner, edging another point. Great read of the court by Cal State Fullerton. We're able to catch Hawaii off guard there. It's on Nicole Vargas Pulser trying to rile up her Cal State Fullerton squad. Hernandez once more gives the signal to Trailer. Up the middle, 
Spiked hard right through the middle this time. Once more by Bamis. Hakas gets a go. Gets fired up with another Hakas kill. So Hakas gets it done, and now is an opportunity for Hawaii to be on the service line once more. 18 to 12 service. Once more for Kate Lang. Mishandled by Jacone. It was a little bit of a hesitation between Campbell and Jacone on the back row. Gives a service ace for Hawaii, and it'll bring us to a timeout call from Nicole Vargas Polster. 19 to 12 in favor of Hawaii. We'll be back right now. Cal State Fullerton leaves the middle of their court open, and Hawaii is just able to sneak right in there. They do need to work on communication, and the, once they do, they play a great, great game. Let's see if they can get it back here. 2012 service, Hawaii up by eight. This is their largest lead of the evening. Cal State Fullerton looking for a side out. Again, playing tonight without Audrey, or rather, Aubrey Beaver. So again, no Aubrey Beaver tonight. It's Cal State Fullerton a little bit. Kind of seeing Beaver kind of cautious a little bit, but once we see Beaver 100% next year, I know this is going to be a tough Cal State Fullerton team to beat. Titans, they get the point right back, allows a 13 to 20 service. Again, Aubrey Beaver, six foot sophomore out of Marietta, California, also played for, for the top notch high school volleyball program over that Temecula Valley High School. From the left side, it was Andriana Arquette that misses a tad wide and gives the point back to Cal State Fullerton. By belief, Hawaii is going to challenge this one as Robin Amo says, no doubt in my mind, that was tips. Flustered and line judge, or rather the low judge. And it gives us for our first challenge tonight, and this play is under further review. So again, was it tipped in the mid block? That's what Hawaii is looking for. Let's see here. It's close. It's very close from that angle. It doesn't seem like I can tell. Question may be, will it be enough to overturn the call? That is something that the officials are going to be looking at. It also, seems as though from that angle, she did not touch it. From what I can see. Each team gets two challenges, of course. If you lose one, then that's it. But if you challenge, you win it. You'll get that challenge back. Each team will get an additional challenge if we were to go to set number five. Max amount of challenges you can have is five. 20 to 14 as it stands. Here in set number two and allows us, of course, to talk about Cal State Fullerton's preview show. Of course, preview show that is now on demand. Go ahead and check it out. We got to cover a lot of winter sports, including men's and women's basketball. Of course, indoor track and field, of course, hosted and run by the students, journalists, students rather, here on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. Again, check out that preview show that is on demand. Let's see if we can take another look here. And the officials taking their time, making sure that they're getting this call correctly. So again, it's the left arm of Bianca Martinez. It's very curious to see what they're going to do. Seems to me she went just right of the ball. It doesn't seem like there was any touch from that angle. It seems as though the ball's trajectory didn't really change. No, that, so I would, I would say the point stays with Cal State Fullerton. That's the case. Cal State Fullerton will just be down by six here in set number two. Let's take a look one more time. Again, it's that left hand of Bianca Martinez. We go back to the floor. Call stands. They give it to Cal State Fullerton. The ball was too low for her hand to have hit it. 
So Hawaii only has one challenge left. Cal State Fullerton will have to. The Robin Amo on your screen. And what has she done with this program has been unbelievable. Hawaii has placed in the top two in the Big West regular season standings each year since rejoining the conference back in 2012 and has finished first seven times in that span. Of course, for the Bows, won three straight regular season titles back from 2019 to 2022 and also placed second last year before sweeping through the inaugural Big West Championship. So she has certainly made her mark in this Hawaii program. So here comes Laura Williams trying to get the point right back. Adami beats Hakas in the back row. Jacone gets a big crank. Zamina Campbell hits around the blockers to pick up another Titan kill. Miliana Sylvester unable to get there on Hawaii. Of course, the Titans. Hawaii, they still play. One more tomorrow against UC Irvine. But for tonight, Cal State Fullerton season will come to a close. Leilani Lopez, rainbow of a serve, recovered by Ling. Adami wants to go with it. As Titan fans are saying, no touch. That time, no certainly touch. It goes out of play. Point goes to the University of Hawaii. <laughs> Great effort there by the Titans, but unfortunately the ball just bounced off her hand in a weird angle. Went out of bounds. Cole Vargas Polster had some words to say to the low judge. That is Torin Cheltenham. Of course, Patrick Bradley is the head official tonight. 22-15 service for Matias. Goes on the back row attack. Here comes Campbell with a big swing. Turned away. Arquette and Sylvester picking up the combo block. The Titans really need to be ready to cover their blockers in case the block is unsuccessful. That's something Cal State Fullerton needs to work on. Matias once again goes back row. Garris feeds Martinez. Turned away from Hawaii. Same mistake made by Cal State Fullerton. Need to be ready to recover the ball just in case the block is unsuccessful. Set point for Hawaii. One set one, looking for set two. Cal State Fullerton trying to stay alive, all survival mode. Left corner, free ball for the Titans. Campbell trying to finish it off, turned away. Meliana Sylvester does it again and everyone's dancing in that Hawaii bench. Two complete sets, both favoring the University of Hawaii. And it brings us to a break here in Fullerton, California. Set to final, Hawaii bringing it on at 25. Fullerton is looking a lot better with communication, but it seems as though they tend to fall off. Once they lose some points, they seem to doubt themselves. Both teams are making just mis critical mistakes, serve mistakes, attack errors, mistakes that they should not be making. Both teams giving up points to each other throughout these two sets. Both teams need to just clean up the way they play, work on communicating loudly, covering each other, especially on the side of the Titans being ready for anything. It's a true David and Goliath matchup tonight. Hawaii, of course, looking for another straight sweep against Cal State Fullerton. They're 50 and 0 against Cal State Fullerton. Hawaii, or rather, Cal State Fullerton now just trying to force this thing all the way to set number five. Have been in this situation before. We've seen them before with a reverse sweep last year against American as well. Cal State Fullerton starting off early once more in set three. Two nothing serving up for Tillman. Going in two nothing non Titans. Maya Tillman, two nothing service. Tillman on the back row attack. Here comes Lang, pokes it over. Dug out by Tillman. Garris left side once more. One arm saved by Arquette. Kanaga hits it over. Lopez. 
The DS slot so far to start off set number three as Cal State Fullerton once more gets another point. Hawaii making a lot of those mistakes, giving points over to Cal State Fullerton, and they're taking quite the advantage. Maya Tillman, the Bellflower California product, the 5'7 junior, making her 68th appearance here. 68 sets so far this season for the true veteran. Gets down and dirty. Hawaii, though, will pick up their first point here in set number three. Cal State Fullerton's best bet here is to just get the ball back to their side as quickly as possible. Kate Lang. Once more back on the service line. Has proven her worth not only to this roster, but truly one of the best setters that the Big West has ever seen, period. As Hawaii gets the point once more, down three to nothing, two back-to-back -back unanswered points, only down by one in early set three. Hawaii able to read the wide open territory on the side of the Titans and capitalize on that. Killing the ball right in the center. Adami with 10 kills, Alexander with nine, Bamis with seven, as Lang misses short. I like the idea, just couldn't beat the net. Another service error. We are now four service errors on University of Hawaii and four service errors on the side of Cal State Fullerton. Haven't seen too many service aces. Of course, Cal State Fullerton ranked 11 in service aces. Hawaii ranked 10. One service ace tonight, that was from Hawaii. As Lang on the back bump goes to Hakas. What a dig there by Lopez to keep it in play. Picked up by Bamis. she wants the ball. Pancake dig by Singdara, and they say no. It hit the hardwood. Singdara can't believe it. Point goes right back to the Wahine. When Cal State Fullerton is on it, they are on it. When they are able and ready for anything, they are able to keep the ball in play. It looked close. It seems like Nicole Vargas Polster wants to use her green card. And they certainly will. So worse comes to worse. If it does so happen to be that Singdara did save that volleyball with the pancake zig, we're just going to get the thumbs up from the officials and then we'll get another redo. Let's see here if we can save that ball, which the hand or the floor. It seems to me it got to the floor before her hand. It was a quick challenge. The official. Took a quick look, hits the hardwood. The call will stand. Both of these two squads losing a challenge. They have one more remaining. So far, point, it goes to the University of Hawaii. So it still stands, 3-4 service coming up for the boats. Tally Hakas gets set, line drive service. Garris once more on the back bump, goes to Hall on the far side. As Katisha Hall re-answers, they get the point right back up. Given Hawaii a taste of their own medicine with a cross-court kill in the back corner there. Here comes Riley Garris. Of course, we already know her resume and what she did over at Bristol Ridge High School. Ikinaga wants to feed Adami, controlled by Hall. So Hawaii gets another go, turned away from Williams. It goes out of play. The University of Hawaii gets a point right back. Just a tough angle. Williams running out of real estate near the left pin. It works in favor of Hawaii. Bamis with the service, controlled by Trailer. It goes out of the reach of Riley Garris as she smiles that one away. Hawaii gets it back, and just like that, we're all tied up at five apiece here in set three. There's Bamis. 14 service aces this season for the Bows, rather. As for Hall, dug out by Bamis. Lang wants to go to Adami. Right through the corner, a lot of open space between Singdara and Jacone. Hawaii picks up their first lead now in set three. Jason Bamis again with a great kill to the backcourt. Cal State Fullerton really needs to cover their, their front line. 
Jason Bamis misses long. Fifth service air for Hawaii. And it ties us right back up at six apiece. Sangdar will check out. It will bring back Amina Campbell as Bamis will check out as well. Our cat back on the front row attack for the University of Hawaii. Trailer goes soft on the back row. Near side attack, Arquette hits the line. And Arquette picks up another kill for the pose. Great kill there by Hawaii. Straight to that very, very back corner. Arquette, the 5'10 freshman, named to the 2023 Max Preps All-America second team. It goes off of the tape, controlled by Campbell Williams. Barry's at home with the big attack there, all tied up once more at seven apiece. Course, last year when both of these two squads faced off against each other, Cal State Fullerton did force another set going to set number four, but again, the last six out of the last seven meetings has been all University of Hawaii. The Titans trying to extend this one as much as they possibly can. Martinez goes up the middle, laying once more. Far side, Adami buries it home. Cal State Fullerton just lacks some communication there. Unable to recover the ball. No doubt about it. Tonight has certainly been the highlight reel herself, Stella Adami. It's been the Adami show here in Fullerton, California. An overpass almost got Cal State Fullerton a point. Hawkus puts it over. Great job to tip it right towards the right hand of Laura Williams. And it goes another back point rather to the bows. They're up by two here in set three. Nine to seven service once more for Victoria Leva. El Paso, Texas product. On the other end, Martinez turned away from Sylvester out of play. It goes. Cal State Fullerton picks up the point and it allows Leilani Lopez back on the charity line. Lopez trying to do all that she can on the service line. If you're Cal State Fullerton, Huge opportunity with one of your best servers on the line. Lang wants to go to Hawkus. Set up perfectly for Lopez with the dig. Here comes Campbell. Heart safe from Leva. Hawkus trying to finish it. And she does the deed indeed. Another point for Hawaii. 10-8 service coming up for the Bows. Unfortunately, Cal State Fullerton just could not get there in time. Let's see if they can get it back and get some points back on the board here. It's 10-8. Hawaii. 10-8 service, three up, three back for Cal State Fullerton. Arquette with the ding and allows an opportunity for Hawkus to pick up another kill. Jacone on the far side of the court, couldn't do anything about it and it goes right in front of Sabrina Hernandez. You take a look here, Hawkus surveying the floor. Chance there for trailer, goes for not near the far side of the floor. Back to Ikenaga. Once more, beautiful jump serve, sets up in the back row to Chacon. Here comes Campbell, finds the little bit of a gap between Ikenaga and Leva on the back side. The Titans get the point right back. Great kill there by number 14, Amina Campbell. So far, Amina Campbell leading Cal State Fullerton in kills tonight with seven. Lila Trailer right behind her with six. Khadija Hall has five tonight. Maya Tillman back on the line. Akas with a chance set up by Trailer. Garris calls off Tillman, wants to go Trailer once more. Misses wide. Rally diminishes quickly. Unfortunately, Trailer did not have that angle there. It was out of bounds. Cal State Fullerton down by three, trying to dance their way back into this one. Lang, in her time, takes a deep breather, tosses the volleyball right before service, misses a tad long. Great eyes there from Trailer to duck under that one. Yeah. 
hitting clip, something that Hawaii really likes to favor. A hitting clip of 316 over Cal State Fullerton's 181. 98 total attacks for the Wahine over Cal State Fullerton's 83. 12 10 service. Arquette has to retrieve that one. Saved by Lopez. Sangdara hits it over. Another free ball for the Bows. Matias, they go up the middle to Bassett as Lopez again hits it over. Matias wants to go middle side. Sangdara with the dig. We got a rally. Trailer, she finishes off. Great job by Cal State Fullerton there. You can see there they were effectively communicating with each other, covering each other's backs, and when they do that, they are able to do anything. You know, partner, tonight's been a matchup. We've been kind of waiting for that spark of life from this Cal State Fullerton squad, and just seemed like off the energy from the bench, that was it. It seems as though this third set is there, breathes some new life into them. Well, the announcer's jinx there. It happens, what you gonna do about it? It happens, Cal State Fullerton trying to rebound, free point to Hawaii. You'll notice that that'll happen a lot. My bad. It's part of the game. My bad. Here comes Tally Hakas once more. Hawaii up by two here in set number three. Gotta have a little fun and rank up a service ace for Tally Hakas. Just our second ace of the game, both coming from Hawaii. 14 to 11. So far, again, you mentioned partner, two service aces. One for Hawkus. Lang has one, and also a third by Bamis. Great tip by Cal State Fullerton, keeping the ball in play, and it leads to a point. That momentum is coming back on the side of the Titans. Lonnie Lopez was set to sub. The official wasn't ready yet for the rotation. There it is. Williams will check in. Riley Garris here with the serve. 12-14 service. Comes in favor of Hakas. Matias once more goes to on the far side by Adami. Trailer trying to keep this one alive. Once more, Arquette goes off of the coconut of Ashley Jacone as Hawaii going head hunting here in set number three. So Hawaii wanted to check things over, but either way, it's immediate timeout. It takes us to a break. Or recovered by Williams. Trailer trying to finish it, and off she does so in the back row. And this, is and this is what happens when Cal State Fullerton is able to cover their players and communicate. They are able to have some great rallies, and they're great at reading the court. You saw the replay there after the play was over. A lot of big hugs from Sangdara and Jacone. A huge defensive effort. Sangdara smiling. Jacone is smiling. Took a beating. And a great job from the student athlete to get up quick. And what a point. But Hawaii, courtesy of Maddie Way, the 5'11 freshman out of Santa Clarita, California, gets the point right back for the Bows. Here is Tyla Reese Monet. Reese Monet, the six foot one junior, now enters for the first time tonight. Redshirted last year prior to the University of Hawaii. Played two seasons at Casper College back in Wyoming. As Adami calls off Arquette, Garris goes to Jacone with the setup to Laura Williams. Finds the left corner. Cal State Fullerton just down by two. Great angle there on the side of Cal State Fullerton. Kind of see the shift in her body with the momentum going right there. Wades the left pin and it gives it right back to Katisha Hall this time. Hall already has nine service aces so far this season. Over 64 sets now. Goes right into the twine. Another free point for Hawaii as Hall will check out, brings back Ashley Jacone. Kind 
that that's been the storyline tonight. Cal State Fullerton trying to find that spark of life, trying to find some momentum. The bench trying to show off their dance moves. You're trying to show off their <laughs> dance moves. Speaking of showing off your dance moves, Bianca Martinez struts her stuff, picking up another Titan kill. A super spike indeed for Bianca Martinez. Smiles a little bit to Amina Campbell. You can tell Cal State Fullerton is, is cooking with gas here. When they have their motivation, they have their motivation and they're able to play a very well, a smart game. Cooking with gas, I like that one. I think maybe I gotta use they're that They're cooking. One. They're locking in and they're cooking with gas. I like it, I like it. 18 to 15 service for the University of Hawaii. Again, a victory tonight. Gives an opportunity rather in the Big West with a three-way tie in the first seed with only a game remaining tomorrow. Garris goes to Bianca Martinez. The running spike puts it through as Cal State Fullerton, their last regular season game, not going down without a fight. Taylor Ikanaga just not able to get under the ball in time. Great play on the side of the Titans. Back once more for Maya Tillman. Six total kills so far of the season. Setter and also the D8 slot, rather. Tillman hits it over here because now trailer misses long as Hawaii trying to extend that lead. Creeping away a, a little bit, trying to get another clean sweep here against Cal State Fullerton tonight. Trailer approached the ball just a little too quickly there. Was unable to get back behind the ball to get up and over it for a kill. Jackie Matias, a 5'9 sophomore with a service. Gives an opportunity to trailer, banks it over off of the mid blockers. Matias wants to go middle, wants more to Bamis. Dug out, wants more from Sangdara. Martinez with a powerful spike, but saving it over from the net is Arquette. Here comes Martinez, denied! Dali Hakas continuing the block party for Hawaii. Cal State Fullerton was ready for a lot of those tips over the net, and they were able to recover a lot of those balls there, keeping the ball alive for a very long time. Definitely made improvement in those areas. Matias banks it over, overpass. Bamis resets the offense. Right side, Arquette denied by Martinez. Iganaga wants to go to Hawkes, yes! Sends it over and buries it home. Hawaii four points away from a clean sweep. See the fight, you see the heart from this team. Just getting overpowered. But Matias misses long. Smart look there from Leilani Lopez. Cal State Fullerton earns himself a free point. Seven service errors for the University of Hawaii over Cal State Fullerton six. Hasn't been the prettiest from the service line. Robin Amo knows it all along. Short rainbow service from Chacon Arquette with the tip. Over there from Hull, Hawaii gets another point. Leva will check out, checking back in rather will be Seller Adami. Tally Hakas. Kyle State Fullerton needs to get the ball back on their side on this point. Crucial one indeed, handled by Lopez. Controlled this time by Hakas. Matias runs out of real estate over there on the far side was a Damie. This trailer hits it over. Matias once more wants to feed still a Damie. Controlled by Jacone. Here comes trailer once more with the tip. Same by a Damie. They go near side this time to Arquette. Still in play. Middle they go Hall. Handled by Hakas. Matias under the line, not yet. Lopez, great job retrieving that one. Trailer misses wide. Good effort, but it goes to Hawaii's favor. Unfortunately, Trailer just did not have the correct angle there. Great effort on the side of Cal State Fullerton. And on the money, as again, the Hawaii wants to make sure rotations are correct. 
gives an opportunity for Wyatt to make a few substitutions. Oregon Monahan, the 6'3 junior, an Oregon product, will check in. So with that, Monahan on the front line. Akas, handled there by Leilani Lopez on the back row, brings up Katisha Hall with the hit. Adami wants to finish this one off, recovers off the block by Garris. Right side Hall, recovered by Hawkus. They want to go to Monahan, dug out by Lopez. Garris wants more to trailer. Received once more by Hawkus. Once more, they want to go to the outside hitting junior. She misses wide. Point goes to Cal State Fullerton. Cal State Fullerton really needs to capitalize on this opportunity here. Let's see if they can do it. Riley Garris at the service line. Austin, Texas product once more. Inaga sets it up to Matias. A little more oomph on that one from Bamis. Chacon, you love the effort, but Bamis with a huge spike gets it done, and it brings Maddie Way back on the hardwood for Hawaii. The University of Hawaii fans on their feet. We've known they've traveled well. Nationally ranked third in attendance. It's a match point for the University of Hawaii. Akas to Matias, right through the middle. Maddie Way will finish it off for Hawaii. Bring out the brooms, another clean sweep for the University of Hawaii. Great effort on the side of Cal State Fullerton. I saw a lot of improvement from them. They were able to cover the front line. They were able Sasaki Brange Wabro. Sorry, I'm going to stop. So, I'm going to go to the other side. 